What's up, y'all? It's your boy Cuddy. Be back at it again with the S3. Uh, today we're gonna be putting the wheels on. Don't mind my hair. You know, I just woke up. We're rushing to get this done because I have work later. Um, so I'm gonna take the car in to get the wheels put on. Uh, I'm only doing it now. I haven't loaded the car, but I'm doing it right now because um, the tires are on their way out, and I don't really want to be driving on those tires anymore. And I know it's gonna fit when I lower the car, so I'm not too worried about it. And that's gonna be coming real soon, anyways. Um, so we're gonna put the wheels on. I'm super excited, man. They're gonna lit fire. So I'll catch you guys in a bit there. I made it to the tire shop. I'm here super early just because this one usually is super busy on the weekend. And it's family owned, so I wanted to come here because we always give our money to them, you know, instead of the other big companies. Um, so we're here right now just waiting for them to open up. Uh, the car's gonna be looking good when it's done though. Uh, it's not gonna be looking perfect just because we haven't put those lowering springs on yet. We need to get those on for the car to just be sitting just how I want it. Uh, but I'm not too worried about it. The car's still gonna look good because the wheels on the car right now are so ugly, bro I hate them so much and every time I look at them. I'm like, oh my god And it makes me mad because I have a brand new set of wheels in the garage So today is finally the day we're gonna put them on. It's not how I want wanted them to be put on because I haven't lowered it yet uh, But it's alright. I'm not too worried about it because the lowering springs are gonna go on real soon anyways um so it's fine, it's fine. The car's gonna be looking better though. I'm excited for you guys to see it. I'm excited to see it, it's gonna be fire. All right guys, so I just have the tire shop. The car is looking super right. Um, it's not exactly where I want it yet because we still need to lower it, but once we do, it's gonna sit just perfect. Um, it rides a lot better because I went to an 18, so now I have a bigger sidewall and it's a lot more comfortable. Um, so I definitely like that so far. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and you guys let me know what you think. So this is what the Fitment looks like. Honestly, it's exactly what I wanted. You can see from the side here, it's literally perfect. Um, once I lower the car, it's going to sit just how I want it. Um, basically flush. You can see that from the side, it's basically flush right there. And I'll go to the front as well. And you can see from the front, it's literally perfect. I can't complain. I couldn't ask for anything better. So once I lower it, it's literally going to sit exactly where I wanted it to. If you want to go with the setup that I'm running, it's an 18 by 9 with a plus 45 offset and a 245 40 18 tire. It's just the right amount of meat. Um, it rides really good and it really takes out the roughness of the 19 inch stock wheel that's on the car. The fitment is crazy. I love it so much. Uh, we're going to lower the car hopefully in the next week or two so we can get that all set up. Um, honestly, I can't complain. You know, if it looks perfect. The wheels are beautiful. Um, the tires feel nice when I'm driving. Um, so honestly, it was the best choice for me. It fits perfect. No complaints at all. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Cuddy. We back at it again with the S3. Uh, today, we're going to be putting on the lowering springs. Um, right now, I just need a little bit lower, and we'll get the fitment just right. Um, you can see where we're sitting right now. Um, these should go down about half an inch to uh, three quarters of an inch. So I think it's going to be perfect. Um, the back, I don't know why. I, I saw everyone else that their back kind of sits a little bit lower. Um, but I think it'll be fine. It's just going to clear perfectly um, just because, you know, when you lower the car, it kind of cambers in a little bit. Um, so I think I'll be fine. I went with the H&R Springs, just the sport stone, not the super sport, because I didn't want to go too low and risk anything rubbing. So we just got normal sport springs. I think they're going to fit perfect. Um, so I'm just going to get everything jacked up. We're going to take the wheels off and then we'll get started on it. And this video won't really be like a full tutorial because there's so many on YouTube already. Um, so I'm just kind of set up the camera. You guys are going to watch us work. Um, once we're done, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And then uh, we'll see what the fitness is looking like, man. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get this going.
So the lowering springs are officially in. They sit just right exactly how I want them. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I got about a finger gap in between. That's exactly what I wanted because I didn't want it too low to where I was rubbing. Uh, I knew I wouldn't with this setup anyways, but you never know because the super sport springs actually go lower than what I am now. So the sport springs was like the perfect, perfect, perfect medium that I needed. Uh, so I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. Let me know what you think. Guys, so that's the fitment. Uh, I have about a finger in the back, or like three quarters of a finger, a finger around there. Um, towards the front, it is a little bit higher, um, but a lot of people have that same problem that the front is a little bit higher, but it's nothing crazy to the point where you can like genuinely notice it. You have to really take a deep look at it, uh, but it looks perfect. I love how it came out. Uh, I'm gonna go out for a little drive and I'll let you guys know how it feels. Um, and then we'll continue the video when we're in the car. All right guys, so driving the car, uh, there's not really like a drastic difference or anything um, when you're actually driving you definitely feel lower to the ground obviously uh, but that's really about it the roads don't feel any harsh or anything it still feels comfortable um, so you're not really sacrificing anything to go lower uh, and the springs they, they feel good you know i uh, can't complain at all uh, so if you guys wanted to go with this setup i would highly recommend it i don't see why you wouldn't uh, the h&r springs are pretty cheap as well um, compared to something like 034 uh, but I know those are really good too, so I'm not trying to knock them at all or say, you know, um, it's not worth the money to go with 034. Um, but if you're just trying to be on a little bit of a budget, or even if you're not, you just don't see the point in spending that much on some springs, you know, uh, then the H&R spring is perfect for you. That's why I didn't buy the 034 because almost $400 for a set of springs, just, I don't know. It was, it didn't really seem like the good option for me. Uh, money wise just because I'd rather spend less and get a bit like a more aggressive look that like what I was looking for um, so I went with the H&R you know completely up to you whatever you prefer um, but this video I guess you can use this as your reference if you want to go with those um, it's perfect it's literally perfect so I hope you guys know the video man uh, we got more content coming uh, I don't know what's next you know I try to keep it keep myself uh, surprised as well because I never know what I'm gonna buy next uh, I want to start to get into the actual tuning part of it real soon. Um, I'm thinking that's my next direction. Uh, just because, you know, I really want to get the tune going. Uh, get some speed on here so we can take her out to Mexico. Uh, but don't tell anybody, you know. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I hope this helps you guys if you want to go with uh, the H&R Springs or if you can't decide on what springs to go with. Um, I'd highly recommend these. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Later.